Millie Mello and Deshaun Robinson, the super welterweight WKA men's pro New York State full rules title on the line. And right now, we will have a tremendous main event. Billy Bello and Deshaun Robinson had a chance to talk to our main event fighters earlier. This fight right here means more than anything right here. I don't want to lose to him. He don't want to lose to me. And for tonight, if he survives. My name is Billy Bello. It's going to be a rematch, and it's always fun to fight somebody that you lost to. I'm going to make you the same thing that I do in every single one of my fights. I never back down. I always go forward, and I fight hard. We're ready for our main event. Let's turn it over to Connor Hall. Get ready for five rounds in this super welterweight division. The winner of this fight will be the World Kickboxing Association Men's Professional New York State Full Rules Muay Thai Champion. Now, in the red corner, wearing black trunks with the red trim, weighing in at 155 pounds, representing Molina's martial arts with an even record of three and three, from Roselle Park, New Jersey, Deshaun Desert Storm Robinson. And now in the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trim, weighing in at 156 pounds. He trains at Arden Sweet Science Gym and Punch Fitness with a record of six victories and two defeats. From Brooklyn, New York, Billy Bello. Our main event, the super welterweight, five rounds, three minutes each, the WKA men's pro New York State full rules title, Deshaun Robinson. Training in Roselle Park, New Jersey, he is eight and three. And Billy Bello, he is six and two. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Bello is 5'9", Robinson six feet. The weight, 155. It's even there. And the reach in Robinson's corner, 71 to 68. Robinson, here we go. He's got a tremendous punching advantage. Both fighters coming out southpaw. <coughs> I kind of, I think it kind of threw Deshaun off for a second. Robinson wearing the black and red bellow in the all black with the white lettering on his hips. Deshaun not as aggressive as I've seen him in the past. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. Oh. Well, Deshaun's, Deshaun is uh, shifting from southpaw to orthodox. Swing and a miss there on the kick by Bellow. Nice low strike, both low strikes. They tie up in uh, Bellow's corner. Trey, a couple knees. This is a tough part about Muay Thai. When you're in that clinch, you gotta stay patient and you gotta deliver blows. Chris, what is the difference in terms of boxing with the clinch in Muay Thai? Well, as opposed to boxing where normally in the clinch, a referee will probably most likely break you up if you're not working. Here in Muay Thai, uh, once you get in that clinch, again, you're landing knees to your opponent's body, which wear you down, and you can actually knee to the legs. Where in boxing, when you tie up in the clinch, you tie up, and there's not much going on. So this is, uh, this is another aspect of Muay Thai, which you have to be uh, well-versed in. It's not, it's not like a rest in boxing. You're working in there. And these guys are working in this first round. They both have come out pretty strong, trying to connect, whether it's with the hands, the elbows, the knees, or the legs. That's what I like about Muay Thai, the action. 
both fighters in, the, in a righty stance now. They both started out southpaw. Deshaun just switched. Deshaun just switched back and switched again. Look but at the Villa, leg sweeps on both of them. Bello even just like shook his head. He just got hit in the knee and he shook his head at him. Bello looking to chop at the legs of uh, Deshaun. Nice inside leg kick. Again, which are all legal shots. Inside of the thigh, outside of the thigh. Bello landing a good left hook, which kind of dazed uh, Deshaun for a split second. The second of five is coming up right here on the Broad Street Ballroom on Friday Night Fights. Second of five rounds, Vinny Bello, six and two, Deshaun Robinson, eight and three on the line. The WKA Men's Pro New York State Full Rules title. This is the super welterweight division. Round one was pretty much a draw. Both guys bringing it. Going round number two. Robinson in the black and red. Bello in the black with the white lettering on his hips. He also has a pink wrapping on his right foot. Nice low kick from Deshaun. Again, both fighters in the southpaw. Southpaw stance. Billy Bello just walking Deshaun down and chopping away. Nice kick to the back of the leg. You know Be it was good, we got hit by sweat. <laughs> Bello smiling at Deshaun for a split second. I think he's trying to break down his confidence by letting him know he's having fun in there. Clench is so hard. He hit him coming out. Nice uh, elbow attempt, I think, in there in that clinch, trying to break the clinch. You know, early here in this second round, it looks like Billy's taking control. How does Deshaun turn this fight around. I think what Deshaun needs to do is try to put together more combinations. He's throwing one shot at a time. He's got really heavy hands, so if he can try to put together maybe two and three punches with a kick behind it, I think that could turn the tide. Now, Deshaun told me he likes to talk during a fight. I don't see him talking right now. He is on the defensive. No, it doesn't seem like he's talking. But he is uh, evading evading well because Bello is bringing it on. He's just, again, stalking Deshaun and pushing him into the ropes. Bello is the faster fighter right now as they hit knees to the thighs of each other. Deshaun just tosses him off. But it almost looks like he had a glove problem there. He looked down at his gloves, not at his opponent. Might not want to do that with Bello. No, Bello will be on top of you and knock you out. Well, are there any similarities when it comes to a southpaw, whether it's in Muay Thai or boxing? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, when it's a southpaw, right now it's a uh, southpaw versus a righty. As the southpaw, you want to try to be circling away from the right side or the power side of the righty. Uh, these guys have both been switching, so it's I'm sure it's leaving them both confused as to which way to circle, but you definitely want to circle away from the power side, whether you're the lefty or the righty. Final 10 seconds of this round, which really went to Billy Bello. And we'll get a chance in a second to look at some of the pounding that Billy Bello delivered to Deshaun Robinson. And, and you know, Bello really controlled this round with these sort of combinations uh, to uh, Robinson. Yeah, uh, Bellows' uh, controlled aggressiveness seems like it's starting to uh, slow Deshaun down, where he's just resulting to uh, skipping backwards and throwing pot shots. Again, it's it pro it's probably going to come down to who's in better shape, and it looks like uh, Bellows doing doing really well. You know, you know, uh, Chris, when you look into the corners. Um, 
One of the things you see is such composure from Bello. Why do you think you see that? Uh, it just seems like Bello is in, in better got shape. got a great he posture, sitting in his corner, trying to get his air back, while uh, Deshaun walked back to his corner, kind of slumped over a bit. Oh. Robinson's nickname is Desert Storm. He needs something here, or he could be, you know, in the middle of a storm that he doesn't want to feel the hands and the feet from Billy Bello. Bello in the black and white trim on the side, the white lettering. And Robinson in the black and the red shorts with the red gloves. We are halfway through a five rounder. Impressive move there. That was a jumping knee from Bello, which uh, almost connected on, on Deshaun's chin. If and that would have landed, that could have been good night. And as we move into this round number three, it's interesting to see how a nice leg kick there from Bello to the back of the leg of Robinson. Now, Bello is just all over Robinson wherever he goes. He cannot get away. The spinning turn there. And yep. connecting. Bello is definitely building some confidence now. He's feeling like he's got this fight in control. Uh, he landed a really good low kick to Deshaun, and he wasn't into that kick at all. Almost swept him off his feet. Now Bello attacking that same leg with knees. That's going to slow down Deshaun's movement. And his movement is uh, definitely looked like it's slowing down because he just backed up into his own corner. The question is, is Robinson going to get out of this round? Because if he gets hit and hit hard, he might go down. But we all know Robinson has that, that, that ability to fight his way back with that he heavy punch. Oh, yes, definitely. Deshaun has definitely always got a puncher's chance. I've watched him in... Uh, previous fights and uh, he hits like a truck for for a, a tall lankier guy almost coming through the ring right in front of us oh he just missed there with a, a spinning roundhouse elbow another jump move and a kick and he delivered it Bello to Robinson almost almost sent Deshaun out of the ring nice attempt at that flying knee so again, in a pro rules Muay Thai fight, knees and elbows are allowed to the head. We haven't seen any elbows yet, but definitely uh, we've seen Bello attempt some knees to the head in a flying fashion. Have to be totally aware in this particular sport, you cannot take your eye off your opponent. You will end up on the canvas. Bello just shaking his head at that punch, basically saying, bring it on, give him some more. Kick to the... Deshaun definitely doesn't want to stand there and trade with him as he's backing up again most of this fight. I Maybe think he's just trying to stay in until he can find that one opportunity to land that one thing that could end it right. You know, end it with a knockout. Uh, really, uh, we saw it twice. The flying knee. What goes through? What kind of technique do you need to have to complete this kind of move against your opponent? Well, you want to definitely have your opponent back on their heels to attempt any flying techniques. The best time to throw any flying techniques is while your opponent is off balance. If your opponent is balanced, you might leave yourself open to countering, uh, to being countered if you're flying through the air. But uh, Bello definitely timed those techniques right and caught, uh, caught Deshaun on the back pedal. Bello fighting out of art and sweet science and punch fitness coming out of Brooklyn and uh, really putting on a show here. He is very close. He's in control of this fight. He is very close to ending it as we get into this fourth round. Bellow 6-2, Deshaun Robinson 8-3, the super welterweight WKA men's pro New York State full rules title. When you see full rules, basically anything goes. It could be a, a, a knee, an elbow to the head. You gotta keep your eyes open and your wits about you when you're in the ring, especially against a guy like Billy Bello, who can bring it, and he's certainly bringing it to Deshaun Robinson, Chris. Just like boxing, uh, Bello has definitely been controlling, or what we would call uh, being the ring general. He's pushing, literally pushing and walking Deshaun Robinson around the ring, keeping him on his heels. And he took a punch to the face, and he just looked at Robinson, and he shook his head. As to that didn't hurt me, but Robinson again landing another punch in the face. 
You leave it open for Deshaun, he is gonna knock you out if he gets into that right-handed punch to your face. What's great about Deshaun, he has power in both hands. So with him switching southpaw and orthodox, that knockout can come from any side. Robinson wearing the black and the red. Bello in the black with the white words, white lettering on the side of his shorts. Oh, we brought it up earlier, the conditioning for Deshaun Robinson, and we saw it earlier this year in a fight, another sort of jumping knee right there from Bello, but a fight that Robinson was totally controlling and then fell apart at the end. What about his conditioning? It seems suspect, because he, he definitely looks a lot more tired than Bello. He's winging away right now, but now he's on his back pedal again. So uh, it, could be, it could be a matter of who's in better shape, and it's looking like Bello is definitely controlling the conditioning department right now. And Bello just took a couple of punches to the face and actually sort of smiled with his eyes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> kind of smiled at him using his eyes like, come on, man, that didn't hurt me. A nice little jumping knee to the midsection. Bello delivering to Robinson. And you know, Chris, you've been in the ring and you've delivered many a big blow, but you see your opponent smile at you. How does that make you feel? Well, there's two things that are going through my head. Either the shot really bothered him and he's trying to uh, kind of uh, decoy me in, or um, it really didn't bother him. And he's really literally laughing on the inside at my shot. And it can't do, uh, it can't do some mental damage to a fighter if you hit your opponent with your with your hardest shot and they kind of just walk through it and smile. He's got him up against the ropes and Bella let him go. Bella smiling at him, laughing at him almost, saying you can't hurt me. Now he's up in the corner here. As Robinson just, it almost looks like traditional boxing right here. He's got to get him in the clinch and use the legs, use the knees. Nice body shots though. Those can still take a, take a toll on Deshaun and he's looking, he's looking a little weary. We're at the end of round number four. The fifth and final round is coming up when we come back here at Friday Night Fights. All right, we're back here at the Broad Street Ballroom. CJ Papa alongside Chris Romulo taking him to the corner for Deshaun Robinson. He doesn't look good. Judging from his posture, um, I'm guessing that Deshaun is fatigued. Right now he's probably fighting on all heart and fumes. He failed, he was fatigued at the end of the Liam Tarrant fight and he's fatigued here. He doesn't have much left. He, Deshaun was winning that fight against Liam Tarrant but gassed out in the later rounds, the, the fourth and the fifth round and Liam was able to uh, impose his will and, uh, and turn the fight around for a win. And we have a, it looks like there's a glove issue with Robinson, there is. They're gonna work on it real quick. Or it could have been a stalling tactic uh, from the corner, a veteran trick by some uh, cornerman. I don't think it's gonna help. Wasn't the way enough that, of a break. The way that Robinson looks in his face, he looks, another jumping knee. Now, Robinson looks a little bit refreshed there after that. I mean, it was one attempt at, uh, at a left hand, but now he's backing up again. Doing feet a lot are, of dancing. Yeah, his feet are kind of all over the place. His hands are down. Now he's curling up in his corner. Look at the elbows. Elbows, elbows. Elbow to the head. Another one. There was three in a row. Shakes it off, but still, it's got to hurt. Elbow Deshaun. again. Deshaun is not sure, doesn't, doesn't look like he knows what to do against uh, against Bello, who's winging his elbows at him in the corner, backing up into the corner oh, again. A big a knee, knee to the stomach, body. a knee to the head. Uh, this is all Bello right now. This is just heavy bag work for Bello. And this is his fight. He doesn't want to step into a, a big punch from Robinson. I mean, again, with, D, with the power that Deshaun has, 
He's always got that puncher's chance, but it doesn't look like he has enough steam left in him to muster it up. Nice low kick from Bello. Again, seems like heavy bag work for Bello. Head, Oof. body. He's just sort of protecting himself. Doesn't get it clipped in the face. Chris, you think Robinson's got a last minute flurry in him? I mean, again, he could be must he could be trying to just wait it out to the very last uh, 10 seconds and, and try to flurry and hope for the best. He's got to go soon or the flurry's going to come when he's in the car going home. Deshaun's got a huge heart, so I don't deny that he can muster it up. But these elbows, there he goes. He's starting to unload. But doesn't look like he's got enough left. Bello just walking him down. Elbow to the head. Another elbow to the head. Bello not respecting him at all. Final 10 seconds. Deshaun hands down. Land takes another low kick. And that was your main event. Billy Bello and Deshaun Robinson. We'll come back for the decision right after this. Here is the decision. Let's go to Connor Hall, our ring announcer. After five rounds in the super welterweight division tonight, we go to the judges' scorecard. The judges were unanimous on this one, all scoring 50 to 45. Your World Kickboxing Association men's professional New York State full rule champion from Brooklyn, New York, Billy Bell. winning the title, now wearing the belt, and he will speak with our Nancy Ward. Talk about momentum. Uh, tell me exactly what your thoughts were heading into this. Well, getting into this fight, I knew that I was more, the most experienced guy. I knew that I was stronger, and really, I prepared better than anybody in this, for this fight. Just confidence. Talk a little bit about that. How do you prepare for something like this? I mean, he definitely was ready for you. You guys were talking smack yesterday. Tell us a little bit about uh, that. You know, we are long time friends, and we are, he beat me a long time ago. And I knew that since, uh, my Muay Thai has grown tremendously, and uh, I was pretty confident in coming into this fight. I know he's very wild, but at the same time, I have the better technique, and I have a very good defense. How do you prepare for the next one? Are you thinking of that yet? Yeah, I'm already thinking for it. Probably September. I'm going to try to take a little bit of time off so I can build up if you see my shins. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, got to give the time for the back to rest a what do you say to your fans out there that came out today? Thank you, everybody, for coming down to support me. Thank you to my sponsors, uh, Crowd Industries, and uh, thank you to every single person over here that helped me out for this fight. Uh, that's pretty much it. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. So congratulations to Billy Bello, who wins a championship. So Billy Bello walks away with a title, and what impressed you most about that fight? Oh, just Bello's uh, conditioning. The fact that he was able to push Deshaun Robinson back on his heels the entire fight and never slow down. I mean, his conditioning was top notch. Now we saw a fight that Muay Thai fans would love the most, Guzman and Harikyan, and Harikyan coming out and winning there, but you were really impressed with that fight. What did you like so much about that fight? The clinch battle in that fight was so technical. For the average fan who probably doesn't know what's going on in the clinch, they were off-balancing each other, landing knees, throwing each other. Great clinch uh, battle. Chris, it was tremendous working with you during this uh, broadcast. Same here, CJ. All right. For Chris and for Nancy Ward, I'm CJ Papa. Thanks so much for joining us right here on Friday Night Fights.